Um, 28, no, 29. 29 says, what's the antiderivative of t over uh, root uh, 1 minus t to the fourth uh, dt? Uh, okay, well, um, once again, you have to know things. Uh, you have to know formulas because only then will you will you recognize that they are that they are applicable. And uh, well, the the formula that we now need to get back into our brains uh, is the derivative of arc sine. And the derivative of arc sine is one over root one minus x squared. And I won't redo the derivation, but there it is. I am confident that you can do this. Uh, okay, does this look like that? Yeah, it really does. Um, what I now want to do is to think of this as t over root 1 minus t squared squared. Uh, that means I can let u be t squared. Uh, du dt is 2t, and so du is 2t dt. Uh, and um, thus... Uh, I need a 2 up here, so I stick the 2 in and undo the damage with a 1 half, uh, and therefore this can be rewritten as 1 half. The numerator is uh, du, and the bottom is root 1 minus u squared. That is uh, arc sine u, uh, and thus this whole problem becomes 1 half arc sine t squared plus e. Uh, and that's just like root. Okay, one more problem. Uh, one more problem uh, is number 30. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit repetitive, but whatever. Uh, okay, number 30. I don't think there's any easier way to do this. Uh, secant squared x uh, over 4 plus tan squared x. Okay, well, uh, careful observers will see that uh, secant squared and, and tan have a certain relationship, namely that the derivative of tan is secant squared. So, this should perhaps best uh, be thought of as uh, secant squared uh, dx over 4 plus, you know, tan x uh, kind, of, kind of quantity uh, squared, uh, which suggests that we should do the substitution u equals tan x. And if you do that, then du dx is secant squared, uh, and so du is, is secant squared x dx. Uh, okay, so that's uh, pretty nice, uh, because it means I can make a, a quick substitution uh, of that numerator, it's just du, uh, and then this is 4 plus u squared. Okay, and we actually just did this exact problem uh, like two minutes ago. Um, so maybe this is a little bit silly, but we do it again. Uh, how should you do this? You should see this and you should be thinking arctan. But there's this 4 here, so to, to deal with the 4, I, um, I, I factor out a 4 in the denominator, leaving me with 1 plus u squared over 4, uh, and then, I guess I'll just kind of go this way, uh, taking the 4 out, uh, well, maybe this time I'll do something slightly craftier, which is, uh, by thinking ahead, uh, I'll only take uh, half, I'll, I'll split that 1 fourth up into 1 half, and up here I'll put 1 half du, and down here I'll put 1 plus uh, u over 2 squared. Confirm that that algebraically is all correct. Uh, this is because I'm just getting so good now, man, at this, that I anticipate that uh, w is going to be u over 2, that dw is therefore going to be 1 half du, notice I'm even skipping a step there, uh, so that I want that 1 half du up there uh, as my dw, so this is um, 1 half uh, dw over 1 plus w squared. 
that is just arctan. So this is one half arctan uh, w plus c. But w is really u over two, and u is really tan. So this whole thing is one half arctan of um, tan x over two. And I looked for some deeper uh, way of understanding this or, or simplifying it, and I couldn't find it. Okay, good. That was a pretty good introduction to uh, anti-differentiation, and there's still so much more. Uh, so this, these problems are all still like, mm, you know, level 4 out of 10, level 5 out of 10. Um, so what you should do right now, if you watched all the way to the end, congratulations, you should um, uh, take a break and then do by yourself pages 2, 4, and 6. Uh, and page 6, I think, is, is pretty hard. Uh, and I'm going to make a video uh, shortly uh, uh, of pages 2, 4, and 6, so that will be available for you to watch. And then we'll be pretty good at anti-differentiation. Next week we're going to do more anti-differentiation, which is, like, harder. Uh, and, and we'll learn some sort of some new tricks and twists. Uh, okay, good. Bye.